What's up, everyone? So I know this wasn't at all in the schedule for anything at all, ever. Uh, we don't do videos like this, usually the topic videos. We usually have a, a slot filled for every video, every week. It's always the same stuff, but... I've been seeing some stuff that's been aggravating me a bit, and I would like to just defend my point that the Saints are still Super Bowl contenders, that this team can go and win it all. Um, there's some things I want to elaborate on, but before I do that, uh, the reason that I'm making this video is simply because uh, this week is a long week. We have Monday Night Football, and I still want to be uploading at least once every two days, but I, I'm trying to go for daily this week which because that's usually my normal goal now is to have daily uploads, and this fit the bill. It's something that I feel like we need to talk about right now, and it's, it's why the Saints are Super Bowl contenders. A lot of people in the media, on social media, fans of the NFL are counting this team out just because of their loss to the 49ers. And I'll use that loss to the 49ers as a, a, a fuel to a lot of the things I say in this video. You'll be hearing about that a lot. But I want to give everybody a piece of hope, something to hold on to, to know and just to feel again that this team can do it all. The confidence in the swag isn't there like it was last year, but you can tell that this team is taking this seriously. They're not joking around. They're not celebrating unnecessarily. They want, they have their serious, their game face on. They're trying to get their, their mass goal done. They're trying to complete what they want to complete. And that has nothing to do with being swaggy or having the best celebrations, none of that. They're trying to be serious and show that they want this more than anyone else. So, the first thing I'd like to talk about are the Super Bowl odds. Now, when you look at it, it's the Ravens, 5-2, and two, the 49ers, 7-2, and, the, and the Saints, 5-1. and one. So, the Saints are third in odds, which isn't bad, but if you think the 49ers are going to win the Super Bowl over us... You're a crackhead. Like it just doesn't it doesn't make any sense to me. That loss that we took to them was a good loss. I want to talk about that real quick. The loss to the San Francisco 49ers. Now, we lost without Andrews Pete, Kiko Alonso, AJ Klein, Marcus Davenport played half the game, Sheldon Rankins played half the game, and we lost 48 to 46. When you lose two starting linebackers, if you guys go back and watch the film of the San Francisco 49ers versus New Orleans Saints game, what did you see a lot of? You've seen a lot of slants, hooks, curls, anything that's in the middle of the field. Checkdowns to the running backs. Those were all wide open. What would have happened if Kiko Alonso and AJ Klein were in there? We would have won 40-20, to 20, and there's nothing you could say to convince me that we wouldn't have. The defense didn't play well because the middle of the field was being attacked. It wasn't so much our outside corners. Everything was on the middle of the field. If you look up Jimmy Garoppolo's passing chart, literally, it was all the middle of the field. It was all the middle of the field because we had Craig Robertson and Stephon Anthony in there. Stephon Anthony got cut by the uh, Dolphins. So that, that says a little bit right there. The New Orleans Saints had I, Craig Robertson, I love you, but some bums out there playing linebacker. Patrick, Patrick, or uh, not Patrick Robinson, um, Craig Robertson had an interception. He played a pretty good game, a, a decent game of football, but it, it wasn't up to Kiko and AJ Standard. They're very good linebackers. They can cover extremely well. They can lock down the middle of the field now. If you put AJ Klein out on an island, that's something different. But he does his job in the middle of the field. They are very good at doing that. And the corners, they were just... There was a lot of negativity going on because of those two absences right there. We weren't able to get the amount of pressure we would have any other given day if we had prepared for not having Sheldon Rankins and Marcus Davenport. But instead, they went out in the middle of the game. So, this game wasn't a bad loss. The fact that we hung 46 on the best defense in the league... Of course, we allowed 48, but like I said, there were so many injuries on the defensive side of the ball. We're going to get into the injury report after we talk about this, so if you want to see the injury report, stick to the end or skip to the timestamp I'm going to put up whenever it gets close to that time because we have a lot to talk about on that too. But yeah, it was a good loss versus the 49ers. A lot of people were writing us off because of it, and that's ridiculous because they must have just not watched the game, checked the injury report beforehand, something. I would like to say something else that gives me a really good piece of hope that the Saints are going to win the Super Bowl or have the opportunity or the chance or are good enough to win the Super Bowl is the fact that the offense is peaking late. Now, a, lot, a huge problem in the New Orleans Saints offensive scheme last year was that it was figured out midway through the season. We blew out the Bengals and then fell flat. We died. And that, that's just how things go sometimes. And the New Orleans Saints offense this year, we haven't been as... 
I wouldn't say we haven't been as predictable, but we've been exclusive. We've only been using plays that Sean, I guess Sean Payton is using some plays that he only wants people to see during this time. I'm telling you right now, he has some game plans written up, some, some plays, some special plays written up for the playoffs that he hasn't used yet. The offense is peaking very late. Putting up 46 against the 49ers, that's because we had to. We're capable of doing that every week, but the defense has been so fantastic that the offense hasn't needed to complement it like that. It, it, it would be nice to see, but keeping our offense on the down low, not having it heavily raved, is the best scenario for the New Orleans Saints. Drew Brees threw for 349 yards and five touchdowns. He had six total touchdowns. That's the most work Drew Brees has done by a landslide all season against the number one defense in the league that allows 134 passing yards per game against opposing quarterbacks. You're going to tell me that's not impressive? Our offense is peaking late and it's perfect. Michael Thomas has been great all season, but Jared Cook is just now hitting his stride. He's had six touchdowns within the last seven games, which those six touchdowns are his only six touchdowns of the season. There have only been two games within that seven-game span that Jared Cook has not had a touchdown. Traquan Smith has had two of his three touchdowns within the last three games. It's been amazing. Drew Brees has been spreading the ball very well. There's something that is you know not really existent in the playoff picture right now and that's a high powered offense in the NFC. You have the Packers who are good or bad. No, they they they're they're a mixed bag. The 49ers are not a 48 point per game offense. They're they're really not that good in my opinion. I I just don't believe they are. The New Orleans Saints have a fantastic passing attack, one of the smartest QBs of all time. Michael Thomas is one of the best it, No, 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 no. I can't say that anymore. Michael Thomas is the best wide receiver in the league. And the New Orleans Saints have two great Pro Bowl caliber running backs in Alvin Kamara and Latavius Murray. I feel like this offense is going to be a whole new beast in the playoffs. Something that we haven't seen all year. Definitely look out for that. Drew Brees has begun spreading the ball, which has been key to our other playoff victories, our other playoff pushes, our Super Bowl win. Drew Brees really knew how to spread the ball. and He's getting back to his old ways. Ted Ginn. Uh, Traquan Smith, Michael Thomas, Taysom Hill, everybody getting involved in the pass catching game. I love that for sure. Another reason I want to say the New Orleans Saints are Super Bowl contenders is because of one thing that is very, very, very uh, undervalued. The offensive line. Even though we didn't have Andrews Pete and had a very banged up Teron Armstead who was seen in a walking boot after the 49ers game because he wasn't 100%, we allowed zero sacks. The defensive line that everybody was calling the best in NFL history, saying that it, it, it's up there with, with anybody, the Purple People Eaters, with any defensive unit ever, they were the best. They got held to zero sacks. They didn't touch Drew. The New Orleans Saints offensive line is playing with starters like, like Nick Easton, and they're still doing these fantastic things. They've been amazing all year. Despite the injuries, they have bounced back and played a huge role in the Saints winning these games. They gave Drew Brees time. His pocket mobility is untouched. Great game by the Saints offensive line. When given opportunities, like I said, Latavius Murray and Alvin Kamara are Pro Bowl running backs. We have so many weapons. So many weapons whose true potential hasn't even been unlocked. The New Orleans Saints are ready to explode in the playoffs. And I just don't think people realize that. The defense hasn't been phenomenal over the last two weeks. Eli Apple in particular has struggled. He struggled versus the Atlanta Falcons. He struggled versus the 49ers. But when we're good, we're good. This game and the ATL game, like I said, the 49ers and the Atlanta game are the only two games where I've actually seen the defense struggle. AJ Klein is back at practice, so that's definitely a huge boost to this. We've signed... Noah Spence to help even out the fact that our defensive line is extremely, extremely banged up. We have so many pieces in that defensive. I just, ah, uh, there's so much to say, and I'm trying to say all of it, but it's just extremely difficult. Before Thanksgiving, the, de the defense was ranked 6th in the league. Now it's ranked 13th off of a few bad games, but that's still one of the best Drew, uh, defenses Drew Brees has ever worked with. When this defense is good, it is the best defense Drew Brees has ever worked with. We're 5th in rush defense fourth in sacks and I don't see that going down even with the injury because it's well coached. Dennis Allen knows how to coach a defensive line. We've played phenomenal football all around. I'm just listen to this, okay? The New Orleans Saints defense plays good. 
most of the time. The New Orleans Saints offense has only exploded one time this season. What does that tell you? The New Orleans Saints are winning regular season ball games off of their defense. Like it's said in old folklore, defense wins championships. But guess what? You can't always bank off your defense to win you games. The New Orleans Saints offense showed once again that it's capable of putting up 46 points. It's capable of putting up 50 points. I feel sorry for whoever has to face the New Orleans Saints in the playoffs. One of the best punt returners, kick returners, returners in general in the league, Deontay Harris. One of the top defenses in the league when it's playing at its best. One of the best re receivers, or the best receiver in the league. One of the best quarterbacks, the most smart, a very top offensive line, top 10. The Saints are an unstoppable team when they're playing their best football, and that's the scary thing. We haven't seen the Saints play their best football yet. That's ahead of them. When I see Alvin, Latavius, the offense, the defense, the special teams work in coordination, that's when we've played our best football, and I don't think it's going to come till playoffs time. I have very high expectations for this team. I think we can get it done. I think the, the San Francisco 49ers aren't beating us again in the playoffs. The Packers won't do it. There is not one team in the playoffs besides the Seattle Seahawks that I think could knock us off our throne. We are the kings of the NFC. We were last year. There's nobody better than us. And watch it again, baby. I'm telling you right now, the New Orleans Saints are primed to make their run at the Super Bowl. And all it takes is some steady coaching, some team play, and some, and some support from the fans. Just support your team. We're going to do great things. This team is Super Bowl caliber. We're going to do it again. Thank you guys so much for watching. And I'll see you boys in the next one. Adios.